So today I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how we're going to do a side to side body roll and do a shrouding on Miss Amber Carvely. Um, she is now dead. You're dead. Okay, good. So the first thing we're going to do is actually take her head off the pillow because what we don't want is for her neck to stiffen this way into rigor mortis. So as best we can, we'll gently like move her head and take the pillow out from underneath and lay it down there. If her jaw were open, I would take a, which mentees, you already know this, a rectangular size hand towel. I would roll it up side to side and I would tie it around her neck, which would secure her jaw. If her eyes would open, I would simply just <laughs> use my hands to move her eyeballs down and eventually the stickiness of the eyeball and the lid, they'll stick together. Yes, you can also put weights on them, which helps. And then you can both with the eyes and jaws, just set it and leave it while you're doing the washing and everything else. Okay, so now we're gonna get this shroud or sheet, whatever you're using underneath Amber. So she's dead weight. So I'm gonna push this side of the sheet as much as I can underneath her. <laughs> okay. And you could even do it a little more, but for demonstration purposes, I'll do there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is grab Amber where the meat of her body is, which means her hips. So right here and then behind her shoulders. Okay. So first I'm gonna get behind here as much as I can and roll her this way and use her shoulder this way. You can see that I'm holding her. I have my knee on the bed. I'm using a lot of force here. We just pull now this shroud as much as we can all the way underneath her. We wanna use this line as a guide, right? Okay, all right, and then we can roll her back down and then we're gonna go on the other side. Arms can some, like get stuck under the body a lot. So if you get an arm under a butt or a torso, don't worry about it, it's normal. Okay, and just pull it out. Okay, now we go back under here, meet, roll, roll. And now you see that I have this all lined up, ready. Whoops, there goes her head. I'll fix it later. <laughs> ready to come out. All right, I roll down here. I'm going to do some readjusting with her because she did readjust while I moved her. I'm just going to move her head. Yes, she knows what I want because I don't want to touch too much. Okay, so now we've got this part. Kind of pull it out. We can lift up her feet. Okay. Oh, look, we got her nice in line with under here. Now this shroud is made for burial. So it has this compartment, this pocket right here where you could cut and put a board if you needed something stiff to actually bury this body. If you're just using a sheet, you don't really need it. Okay, <laughs> now I'm treating you like a real body, adjusting your clothes. Okay, so now it's on her and we're gonna go ahead and begin the shrouding. Everything's lined up. I used the lines of the shroud. So this line here, this line here, this line here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna start with her feet. What I wanna do is kinda come in at like a triangular angle here. Come in on the side. And you can manipulate the material however you need to. Every body's different. So if you need to like tuck, whatever you need to do to make it work, wrap it around because Amber's tiny. So we can wrap it around again, whatever. Okay. Now for today's purposes, we're not gonna shroud her head. We're gonna leave it open, but I want you to see this extra fabric that can be used and manipulated. Let's say 
Amber died in the middle of the night with a horrific look on her face, and now she's frozen in rigor. So we couldn't get her face to change, but luckily she was on her back, so she was somehow flat. But if her face looks gnarly, we can just cover it. <laughs> so you can use the facial covering however you want. Um, okay, now to tie up the body. You can hear me, I'm out of breath because this actually does take a lot of manipulation and it's COVID and we haven't been like working out. Sorry, I'm pulling your butt. I'm looking for this strap. <laughs> yes, you will touch dead people's butts. Okay. <laughs> so like I said before, all the weight in this body is gonna be in the middle where this strap and where's that other strap? Ah, uh, here. This strap are, okay? Most of the weight is here, so just know that when you're going to lift and when you're going to secure. So we wanna tie these parts very tight, okay. Are you okay with that? Yeah, yeah, I okay. <laughs> Now, I think normally I would probably double knot um, or double knot the bow. So whatever is gonna be most secure. Even this is like a little loose. I might ask for help and have someone come in and help me. But here's this one. Again, just get that package nice and tight. Always good to do with a buddy, but if you have to do it on your own, you'll be out of breath like me, which happens all the time. Okay, and then tight with the feet. Or these are the knees, I guess. And again, if this is a six foot man, this is gonna hit him at the knees. Amber, what are you like? Five, seven, six, five, seven. Five, five. Five. Oh, yes. Okay. So this is our five, five corpse. Corpse model. Okay. So pretty with all the bows. You can put flowers, whatever you want, decorate the body with natural smelling things like rosemary, roses. Let's see how this works. These not as heavy, again, as the middle two. So if you are carrying your own corpse out, make sure you have a lot of strong people on the middle here, because you can just see the difference in me going like this and me going like this. <laughs> so, okay, now we'll unwrap her and take the shroud back out. That plank that I can put in makes it easier to lift the body too because it supports all of this. Right, so I would suggest getting a board cut if you can. It would even make it easy to line up the body on the shroud too because then you would have a natural measure. Um, and honestly, just go to Home Depot and say, I just need a board. Does it even have to be hard wood? Can it be plywood? Mm. I don't know. Yeah. I'll have to figure it out. Okay. So, now unshrouded. Let me go back the way we came. Shove everything up against her as much as possible. This time I'm gonna be more cautious of her head, actually. So I'm gonna try not to move her head and neck as much. Okay. Now as we know, feet are the lightest, so if we even wanted to, we can just whoop. Okay, and again, grabbing from the meat, the meat and the meat is what I call this. <laughs> the meat and the meat. And just be mindful of our head and neck too. Back down. The rolling of the hands, as you know, will kind of happen. So you can just kind of push. All right. We've almost done it. This will be my workout today. Meat and meat. <laughs> You should call it the meat to meat method, not the side to side. And then it's out. So there she is. And then always just kind of realign 
there we go. Okay, and that is how you shroud and move side to side with a body. Ta-da!